Well, hey, welcome everybody. It's Angus here, and once again, you join me back in the glorious Peak District. Uh, today, I'm planning to uh, go up there towards Bamford Edge and uh, do a wild camp up on there. It's been a long time since I've been up there. Uh, well, I'm hoping that these videos are going to be slightly better. I don't know if you can see. I bought myself a microphone with one of those uh, dead cat wind covers. Now, uh, if you've seen me other videos, you'll know I've been plagued by wind noise. And that's mainly to do with the fact that when it comes to video making, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you have stuck with me so far, thanks very much. And uh, this is the first time I've used this microphone. So, uh, yeah, I hope it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to plod on up there. And uh, I'll bring you back in a bit. Cheerio for now. Hey, welcome back. Just thought I'd uh, bring you back. It's an excuse really, just to get me rest back. Uh, yeah, um, I just thought I'd mention that uh, I was slightly anxious about going up for a wild camp on Bamford Edge. I mean, I've camped up here in the past, but last year I avoided the area because the wardens were uh, throwing people off. I think it was due to lockdown and fly campers leaving empty beer cans and garden furniture and setting the peat hills on fire with the portable barbecues. So uh, yeah, I camped everywhere else around here last year. But sadly, because of that, I avoided coming up here. So uh, yeah. I brought a new toy with me, which should uh, help me remain a bit stealthy. I'll uh, speak to you more about that later. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting up here because I love this place. And uh, I suppose looking on the bright side of being anxious, one of the thrills of wild camping in England is that it's illegal. So uh, yeah, it gives me a bit more of a challenge not to get caught. And if you do get caught, just always be polite and move on. And remember, it only matters if you get caught in the evening. Who cares if you get caught in the morning? You're going anyway. <laughs> but as I said, always be polite if it does happen. It's never happened to me. Touch wood. Anyway, uh, I'll plod on for now. And... Uh, I'll bring you back in a bit. Cheerio for now. Bye bye. Well, hey, Whew. getting a bit of wind swept up here now. Uh, I just thought I'd bring you back. So you can have a look at these spectacular views over my shoulder. I'll switch to the other camera in a moment. This will be uh, a good test for this wind mic as well. If you can still hear me, then it's working. It is absolutely lovely up here. The weather's uh, really nice as well at the moment. There was a 60% chance of rain, but it's gorgeous. Anyway, I'll uh, switch to the other camera and let you have a better view. I'll bring you back later. Cheerio for now. Bye bye.
Well, hey, welcome back. Well, I'm on uh, Bamford Edge. Uh, I'm going to walk down that way in a bit, uh, towards the end of it. That's where I've camped in the past down there. But it's uh, very windy up here. Yeah, it's very windy up here. I hope this mic's doing its business. Anyway, I'll spin you around to the other camera and give you a better view, and then I'll walk down further down there. And uh, I'll start looking for somewhere to pitch my tent. Well, I haven't got a tent with me tonight, but more on that later. Hey, hey, welcome back. Well, I've uh, finally made it to the end of Bamford Edge. And look at that view behind me there. I think up here it's got to be one of the most prettiest views in the Peak District. It's absolutely lovely. Anyway, uh, I said I camped up here a few, well, it's a few years ago now. And the uh, place where I put my tent is just there. <laughs> Can't get more on the edge than that. Anyway, I'll uh, swing round to the camera, give you a better view. Hey, welcome back. Well, uh, it's about six o'clock now. I've just been uh, having a scout around looking for uh, a suitable place to pitch. Uh, I found somewhere over in that heather yonder, there was a little bit of a clearing with some grass, uh, enough for what I've got planned. And uh, it's not on the main trail. <laughs> so uh, hopefully, I'll be uh, not that easy to spot. Anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, sit down for a bit and admire these lovely views. I'll bring you back in a bit. Bye for now. Hey, welcome back all. Uh, yeah, I've just been uh, having a bit of a scout around looking for more suitable uh, places to uh, set up camp for the night. And... Uh, I don't know if you can see it over my shoulder. This spot here, it's not a million miles away from the path. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> but uh, my setup's going to be pretty low profile. So I reckon that'll do. Anyway, I'm uh, going to think about unpacking. I'll bring you back in a bit. Bye for now. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I just thought... I'd speak to you about the kit that I've uh, brought today. You might have noticed that I'm not wearing my uh, Osprey Kestrel 48 rucksack. Instead, I've managed to uh, cram it all into this Berghaus Arrow 30 litre rucksack. Um, I'm packing really light. I think the whole caboodle, food, water, fuel, only comes to 9 kilograms. Anyway, uh, I'm going to set up camp soon and uh, I'll show you a bit more about my kit. Speak to you then, bye. Hey. Welcome back everybody. Well, it's turned into an absolutely lovely evening. 
it was forecast for a bit of rain uh, but I must have missed that it's absolutely gorgeous anyway behind me I finally pitched up my new toy that I mentioned before I think you can see it there it is an Outkit Elan Hoop Bivy uh, as I said it's uh, quite inconspicuous and uh, I doubt anyone will see me I'm going to walk over to the path over there and have a look see uh, how easy it is I'm, I am to spot anyway uh, I'll bring you back in a moment bye for now well I've just walked back to the track again and uh, yeah it's pretty well hidden um, I'm only about 10 yards away from the track uh, it's not completely stealthy but it's better than a tent anyway I'll walk back from here with the other camera so you can uh, see it as I approach right well my bivvy is just over there you might be able to see it I'm gonna walk towards it And there it is, and uh, there's me cut down uh, camping store for tonight. Right, well I think I'll take my boots off and get a brew on. I'll speak to you in a bit, bye for now. Well, welcome back everybody. Got a brew on the go. Oh, that's better. There's a few people just turned up. It's always the case, isn't it? As soon as you get pitched, some people turn up. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get my tea on soon. I must say, I'm very impressed with this bivy. Uh, I could even get my rucksack in the bottom of it great little thing and that was my uh, folded wind stand falling over I'll bring you back in a bit bye for now well hey welcome back I'm uh, just sat in my bivvy bag uh, watching the sun go down over Bamford Edge it is absolutely glorious ah oh. Don't want to sound all gushing, but I feel lucky to be here. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd, uh, as per usual in my videos, tell you what's on the uh, menu for tonight. Well, as you can see, tonight's menu is uh, pretty simple. Got some beef jerky, and then I've got one of these expedition dehydrated food things. Uh, another spaghetti carbonara, thousand calories. That should fill me up. Uh, got my uh, little cut down trangia there and the old folded up windshield. Um, didn't really need to bring the storm cooker, not if I'm only boiling water. 
and uh, as I said it helped with my lightweight load out it all fitted into my 30 litre uh, Berghaus Arrow anyway that's what's on the menu for tonight I'll uh, bring you back later when I'm cooking it welcome back well uh, I'm still in my bivvy and uh, just uh, in the final moments of watching the uh, sun going down it won't be long now only a few minutes left uh, funnily enough in the last few minutes a load of people have turned up with photography equipment uh, I don't blame them because these photographs will be amazing it's turned into uh, an absolute lovely evening it's windy as usual uh, but as you can see behind me the blue sky it's amazing ah oh, this is wonderful <laughs> anyway i'll uh, swing around to the other camera and uh, get you some shots of the sun going down i'll speak to you later bye for now Oh hey, welcome back. Well, the uh, sun's gone down now. Uh, most of the people have cleared off. There's just a couple. One guy flying his drone. Uh, got the kettle on the boil. Well, and a water on the boil. And I've got this thing uh, ready. Whoops, nearly, nearly not the camera over there. Uh, ready for it to be uh, poured into shouldn't be long now I'll bring you back in a minute welcome back there's that drone flying over the head again well uh, sounds like the water's boiling anyway uh, Let's get this poured. I'll bring you back in a bit. Hey, some sheep have just turned up. What are you doing in my spot? This is where we sleep. Tough night. I was here first. Bugger off. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, uh, there's still a bit of light left in the sky. I'm about to uh, tuck into this bag of tasty delights. Mmm. Anyway, let's uh, see if it's uh, like baby mush, which it will be. Uh, let's see if it's okay. Let's uh, try this. Mm, it's wonderful. Ah, it's all right. It's better than a pot noodle. Not as good as uh, a tin of Tesco's curry or something like that. But 
it's hot, warm, and uh, it's the first thing I've had to eat all day. So, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, finish this off. And then, uh, as per usual, I might get my tablet out and watch a film. And uh, I may bring you back and show you what I'm watching. Anyway, I, uh, I'll just give you a final evening shot before I uh, finish off this food. And then after that, I'll probably get a cup of tea on as well. Uh, yeah, so I'll switch to the other camera and give you another shot of the... Uh, the dusk on the hills. Well, welcome back everybody. Uh, it's about 10 to 11. Uh, I'm just drinking this cup of tea oh, which I've just made um, I don't think I'll be watching anything on my tablet tonight uh, I'm just going to drink this cup of tea and then get my head down first night in my new uh, Outkit Elon. Ah, oh, I've got Bamford Edge all to myself. Anyway, um, I'll probably see you in the morning. Well, I will see you in the morning. Cheerio for now. Bye bye. Well, hey, well, good morning. I'm uh, bleary and boggy eyed once again. Uh, I've just packed up, as you can see behind me. Leave no trace and all that. It's about whew, half six, seven o'clock, I think. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm going to walk back to the car. I'll uh, catch you later. Cheerio for now. Bye bye. Hey, well, I finally made it back to the car, and uh, that concludes my uh, wild camp up on Bamford Edge. I've got to say, I really enjoyed that. Uh, as I said, I didn't go up there last year, and I've missed going up there. I didn't realise how much it's not been up there as well as views. Uh, yeah, the Outkit Elan, that was. Uh, my first test night for it as well, that passed with flying colours, very impressed with that. And uh, yeah, what more can I say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it too. Well, I'll see you again for another Hengis Wild Camps. Until then, cheerio for now, bye bye.